mountains sing to the sea raise your voices lift your hand this is the day the lord has made let all the earth rejoice i will give thanks to you my lord you have answered my saved my soul from death you are my strength and my song sing to the mountains sing to the sea raise your voices lift your heart this is the day the lord has made let all the earth rejoice My dear brothers and sisters a hearty welcome to each one of you for the holy eucharist of love today we celebrate the memorial of saint alphonsus de liguori the founder of the redemptoris fathers who gave their life in preaching the good news to the poor communicating the word to the poor going house to house reaching out to the people with the word of god we pray for all the redemptorists in the world and all those who hold liguori as their patron and follow his spirituality of preaching the good news my dear brothers and sisters we are all called to proclaim the word of god we humbly ask you to share the link of the daily holy eucharist the holy mass the morning prayer the divine mercy chaplet and the holy rosary every day to your family and to your friends and to your contacts this is how we will proclaim the word of god to the whole world Dear friends we ask you also to support this ministry of preaching by your prayers and by your financial support do assist the manipur people who are displaced who live hungry who need our help at this time do feel compassionate and merciful towards them Let us pray through the intercession of Saint Alphonsus de Liguori for all those couples who are waiting for the gift of child. Let us take this a special intention for this holy mass today. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit dear brothers and sisters let us call to mind all our sins and our failures let us ask the lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have sinned with a contrite heart let us confess together I confess to almighty God and to you my brothers my sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what have I done what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault and therefore I ask bless Mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you my brothers my sisters to pray for me to Lord our God May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who constantly raise up in your church. new examples of virtue 
grant that we may follow so closely in the footsteps of the Bishop St. Alphonsus in his zeal for souls, as to attain the same rewards that are his in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 33, verses 7 to 11, chapter 34, verses 5 to 9 and 28. They are a headstrong people, but forgive us our faults. Moses used to take the tent and pitch it outside the camp, at some distance from the camp. He called it the tent of meeting. Anyone who had to consult the Lord would go out to the tent of meeting outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people would rise. Every man would stand at the door of his tent and watch Moses until he reached the tent. The pillar of cloud would come down and station itself at the entrance to the tent, and the Lord would speak with Moses. When they saw the pillar of cloud stationed at the entrance to the tent, all the people would rise and bow low, each at the door of his tent. The Lord would speak to Moses face to face, as a man speaks with his friend. Then Moses would turn back to the camp, but the young man, who was his servant Joshua, son of Nun, would not leave the tent. And the Lord descended in the form of a cloud, and Moses stood with him there. He called on the name of the Lord. The Lord passed before him and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord, a God of tenderness and compassion, slow to anger, rich in kindness and faithfulness. For thousands he maintains his kindness, forgives faults, transgressions, sins, yet he lets nothing goes unchecked. Punishing the father's fault in the sons and in the grandsons to the third and the fourth generations. And Moses bowed down to the ground at once and worshipped. If I have indeed won your favour, Lord, he said, let my Lord come with us, I beg. True, there, were, there are a headstrong people, but forgive us our faults and our sins and adopt us as your heritage. Moses stayed there with the Lord for forty days and forty nights, eating and drinking nothing. He inscribed on the tablets the words of the covenant, the ten words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm The Lord is compassion and love. The Lord is compassion and love. The Lord does deeds of justice, gives judgment for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to Israel's sons. Response The Lord is compassion and love. The Lord is compassion and love, slow to anger and rich in mercy. His wrath will come to an end. He will not be angry forever. Response The Lord is compassion and love. He does not treat us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our faults. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so strong is his love for those who fear him. Response The Lord is compassion and love. As far as the east is from the west, so far 
does he remove our sins as a father has compassion on his sons the lord has pity on those who fear him response the lord is compassion and love gospel acclamation alleluia alleluia the word of the lord remains forever what is this word it is the good news that has been brought to you alleluia the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o god chapter 13 verses 36 to 43 leaving the crowds jesus went to the house and his disciples came to him and said explain the parable about the darnel in the field to us he said in reply the sower of the good seed is the son of man the field is the world the good seed is the subjects of the kingdom the darnel the subjects of the evil one the enemy who sowed them the devil the harvest is the seed of the world the reapers are the angels well then just as the darnel is gathered up and burnt in the fire so it will be at the end of time the son of man will send his angels and they will gather out of his kingdom all things that provoke offenses and all who do evil and throw them into the blazing furnace where they will be weeping and grinding of teeth then the virtues will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father listen anyone who has ears the gospel of the lord Praise to you Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, when we pray, we have a purpose to pray. Some people pray in joy, in rejoicing. some people always have an intention and petition some people cry out for help for mercy for tenderness for compassion for saving and redemption everyone has a different time of prayer and different purpose of prayer but we are connected with people at all times by thinking about the lord every moment here we see in the first reading from exodus there is a big tussle seen between god people and moses people fail to follow the statutes and commandments of god and moses is the mediator he had a tent he goes and puts his tent outside the locality of the people and when he goes to the tent he talks to the lord like a friend and one day the lord comes to the tent as usual as he was praying and at the entrance people who stood in their own dope posts when moses went to the small tent where he pitched his own little one a pillar of cloud would cover the door of his entrance and that is the time when people 
would wait in total dedication and devotion. Watching Moses communicating and talking to God. They wanted to see what was happening, what would happen. And God gives a message to Moses saying, Moses, I am the Lord, the God who is merciful, compassionate. I show love. I give mercy. But punishment to all those who disobey. Moses comes in compassion to his people, to the Lord, seeking for mercy and compassion. Forgiveness. Lord, forgive them. Forgive these people. And that is the time when Moses comes with tablets to produce them before his people, the commandments. Dear brothers and sisters, today we see in the Gospel reading about the meaning of sowing Daniel. Who does it? The disciples are asking Jesus for the explanation of this parable. And Jesus tells them that Daniel is the evil thing planted by the evil spirit, the devil, to destroy the good seed that is the word of God. And the earth is the kingdom of God where the word is sowed, the soil, the good seed, it avoids coming up in a good healthy way. That is the work of the Satan. And therefore, the angels will come at the time of reaping. They will separate this Daniel and they will burn it first and then gather up the wheat, the good seed. That means all those who do evil works will be punished. Therefore, we must seek for forgiveness and change our lives and become the good seed in the Lord. We receive the word of God every day. Whatever may be wrong in our lives, whatever may be unbecoming, we need to present it before the Lord because the Lord is merciful, kind and affectionate. So let us, my dear friends, with hope and trust in the Lord's forgiveness, His kindness, tenderness and mercy, we come to Him to seek for all these good things in the Lord and we make our life successful in the Lord to become good seed that will be useful in the kingdom of God when the angels come they will reap the good ones separately Amen Yes. 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 Yes.
Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks to our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Derek our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we send Joseph a spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheres to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O God, who gave us St. Alphonsus to be a faithful steward and preacher of this great mystery, grant that your faithful may receive it often, and receiving it, praise you without end, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, wishing you all a very happy feast and God's blessings. Live Jesus. Everyone need compassion a love that never failing Let mercy fall on me Everyone need forgiveness The kindness of a savior The hope of nation Savior, he can move the mountains My God is mighty to save He is mighty to save salvation he rose and conquered the grave jesus conquered the grave savior he can move the mountains my god is mighty to save he is mighty to save
Jesus conquered the grave. 